Daniel Snyder no longer owns the team, and boom, suddenly the Commanders have a quarterback that's capable for the first time in quite a while. Jaden Daniels looks like the real deal. So is there value with them as an underdog here, or is the total a better play on Sunday? I've got the answer. I've got a free play for you with analysis. It's on the over-under in this game between the Cardinals and Commanders coming up in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down not my Washington Commanders at the Arizona Cardinals Sunday afternoon. Hey, look, Jaden Daniels keeps playing like this. They might become my Commanders. As those of you that have watched me for years know, I grew up as a Northern Virginia Washington Redskin fan, went to season ticket holder for the 80s and 90s, the Super Bowl eras. It's been pretty easy for me to let this team go over the last 20 years under the Snyder regime. And then once they dropped the name and went to football team, I was confused. I didn't know who they were talking about. And now Commanders, who are they? But seriously, they've got some offense. The problem is they don't have any defense still. And I think the over is the play in this game for that reason. In fact, Cardinals are the same way. Offense and questionable defense. So let's not overthink it. This is one of the highest totals we've seen this season, but it's high for a reason. As you know, I always say the highest totals go over, the lowest totals go under. And this total is not high enough. In fact, surprisingly, it's come down a bit from earlier numbers. We saw totals as high as 50, even 51 on this game. Now, as we head into the weekend, it's 49 across the board. 51 is a very key number. So the fact that we're getting under 51 still, or a total below 51, we're going over 49. I don't want to confuse you. We're not playing the under here. Over 49 does have some value still, and I like Commanders and Cardinals to go over. Uh, Let's first talk about rookie sensation Jaden Daniels. He was fantastic as the Heisman Trophy winner at LSU last year, and he has been fantastic in his first three games with the Commanders. You know, the knock on him was he hadn't had to throw a touchdown pass in the first two games, and the Commanders' offense had seven field goals against the Giants in Week 2, weren't able to punch the ball in the end zone. But as I mentioned in a standalone video last week when I was breaking down that Monday night football game between the Commanders and Bengals, by the way, I gave you the over in that game free right here on Wager Talk TV last week for Monday night, that was an easy over winner, is that they were still moving the ball well. And boy, did they break out, and boy, did Daniels break out on Monday night. He'd had two good games because he didn't throw any interceptions. He maybe didn't have any touchdowns the first two weeks, but he also didn't turn the ball over with any interceptions, had some rushing touchdowns, and that's the key in the NFL is turnovers. And once again, no interceptions in week three at Cincy in a hostile environment on Monday night football, but he did have two touchdowns this time and an incredible 141.7, nearly perfection with a QB rating just below 142, and he averaged over 11 yards per pass attempt after averaging about 7.5 per t- attempt in the first two games. Uh, he appears to be the real deal, and I think he'll have to continue success this week against a below-average Cardinals defense that on the season is allowing 8.2 yards per pass against teams that average just 7.2. So <laughs> Cardinals are about a yard per pass below average based on opponents played, and now they're facing another tough pass and attack this week. Commanders averaging 8.1 yards per pass against teams that allow just 6.5. And once again, Cardinals give up 8.2. However, Arizona, Kyler Murray and company shows success as well. They've been really strong on the ground this year. They're averaging over five yards per rush attempt. Should be able to run against a very suspect Commanders defense and also should be able to throw against them as well. Arizona's averaging 8.3 yards per pass attempt this year against teams uh, that overall I'm sorry, they're averaging 7. 8.3 are the commanders, or 8.1 is the commanders. But the Arizona team's averaging 7 against teams that allow just 6.4. Commanders, meanwhile, giving up 8 yards per pass. So once again, huge step down in class as far as the opposing defense here. So Arizona's averaging 7 yards per pass attempt, but their opponents face this year have given up just 6.4. Commanders are giving up over 8 yards per pass. I mentioned that 8.2. That was the Arizona defense I was looking at, which has been horrendous, as I mentioned earlier, stopping the pass. So both teams throw the ball well. Both teams are suspect defending the pass. Let's not overthink it. Over 49, Commanders and Cardinals at 4 o'clock Eastern on Sunday afternoon on Fox Semi, well, regional TV. Hey, what are your thoughts on the Commanders? What are your thoughts on Jaden Daniels? Is he the real deal? He's looked at so far in the first three games. Could this be a turnaround team? Could this be a playoff team this year? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Do the Cardinals or Commanders make the playoffs? I think one of them will. Which one will it be? Comment below and let me know. I read all the comments and I reply back. Hey, thumbs up, like if you're finding these free videos useful and I'll keep them coming. Thumbs up, like is always appreciated. Don't forget also when you subscribe, click the bell for an instant alert when these free plays go up throughout the week for both baseball, college football, pro football, basketball right around the corner. And of course, don't miss this weekend's NFL Fade the Public Week 4 edition. Fading the Public's been extremely profitable so far this season, and we'll have your Week 4 edition here this weekend. Click that bell for an instant alert so you never miss out here on Wager Talk TV. 
Baseball's been on a great run. I know we're talking football, but don't forget about baseball. Playoffs start next week on a current 31-12 and 12 run on baseball best bets, and that includes three losses in extra innings over the past week. Three extra inning losses recently, and I'm still 31-12 and 12 in baseball. That's how good the season's been. Football's been fantastic as well. In fact, entering this year, number one the last two years combined in college and pro football ATS units one, and this year on a 10-4 and four run the last two weeks as we head into this weekend, college and pro combined, and the NBA starts in less than a month. I'm number one the last three years in combined profit in the NBA, and number one in college hoops a couple years ago as well. So yeah, I know what you're thinking. How do I decide which sport to play? Well, why decide? Play all sports, all access each and every day. That's a serious investment approach. And this is a great weekend to get on board because right now, when you buy a three-month, 90-day package, you get an additional fourth month, another 30 days included for free. It's a special offer through this weekend only. Buy three months, get the fourth month for free. That's a $299 value instantly free for you. No promo code needed. Check it out on my page right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Hey, and while you're there, don't forget I post a daily free play as well. I get a bonus free play every day with analysis on my page right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. You can follow me on X and Instagram as well, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.